to Relabrish. I'm your host, Kimon. Martima has been making moves as the reggae artist is expected to release his debut album in a few months. At the beginning of 2020, Martima was listed as the one to watch by artist manager Julian Jones Griffith, and he was named Breakthrough Artist of the Year at last year's awards ceremony, where he also copped the Song of the Year title. The new project has not yet been titled, but Martima urges his fans to stay tuned as more details on the project are expected to come out closer to the intended release date. Dancehall Singh J. Da Vinci is out to prove he isn't limited to one genre, declaring himself the world singer on his new EP. Da Vinci, whose real name is Kirk Roden, has been bolstered thus far by his presence on some of the biggest bangers in the past decade, including Wede Mago, Baby Girl I'm Alone, Watch Your Friends, and Guide Me. The EP, released last month, has blown up in recent weeks, garnering thousands of views on YouTube and a host of positive feedback from fans. Spraga Benz has revealed that he has the script for Shutter's Part 2 ready and Jamaicans are here for it. Social media users have seemingly caught the Shutter's bug following images of its two main stars, Kimani Marley and Spraga Benz, floating around social media. Shutter's, the movie was written and directed by Cesc Silvera and released in 2002. It was filmed in Jamaica and Miami and included star-studded cast, including Paul Campbell, the late Louis Rankin, Maka Diamond, Agent Sasko, DJ Khaled, Flipper Mac Mafia, Spraga Benz, and Marley. The gritty crime drama with its graphic depiction of violence, strong Jamaican accent, and banging dancehall and reggae soundtracks has resulted in movie being deemed a cult classic. Minister Marion Hall, formerly known as Lady Saw, said she's not returning to dancehall but is working on a dancehall flavored gospel album. The former DJ is currently experiencing a resurgence in the dancehall space with the two gospel-flavored songs, Missoon Alright and From Meban. Hall was the queen of dancehall until she converted to Christianity six years ago and has since avoided the dancehall space. And that's all we have for today's Relabrish. Big thanks to Lavish Closets for my outfit. I'm Kimon Edwards, keeping it real.